I know you're gonna dig this. There was a great deal of, I didn't do it, no one saw me do it, no one can prove anything at the BBC Trust hearing on Monday this week. Uh, Margaret Todge, chair, chairman, chairwoman of the Commons Committee, said the massive payoffs smacked of gross incompetence and that it was an unedifying experience watching them try and avoid responsibility. The main issue was former Director General Mark Thompson trying to defend the indefensible, uh, denying the corporation had lost the plot and by saying that the payouts had saved money. Uh, yet yeah, they paid the, director, the Deputy Director General, Wiggy Byford, uh, almost a million pounds when the most they had to pay him was £500,000. Even that's a ridiculous amount of money, but that, why then go ahead and pay twice the amount? Thompson claimed this was done because the corporation wanted him to be fully focused, yeah, there's a lot of that, uh, on the job in the final months of his ten tenure and not be worried about uh, his future and taking calls from headhunters. Not worried about the future. His future is more secure than anyone's, especially in this time of austerity and recession. Chris Evans once said that the BBC, or, sorry, half the BBC is on drugs. So Thompson must be bloody coked up to the eyeballs for thinking that this is acceptable and it saves money. Lord Chris Patton came across as a bumbling prat when he sidestepped the question of the payoff uh, by saying it was all arranged before he'd even, you know, arrived, so he knew nothing about it. Uh, Mark Thompson then completely disagreed with that uh, because, you know, basically none of them are singing from the same hymn sheet. Uh, when asked why the Trust hadn't done any more about it, Patton just said it's not their job. Uh, so basically they just stuck their heads in the sand. Yeah, basically there's little trust in the BBC Trust. Given how the BBC Charter is up for renewal in 2016, there's a chance that the BBC Trust might be binned and I won't miss it. Have you ever tried complaining to the BBC about anything? You complain, they completely fail to answer the question and requiring you to contact them again and you have to do it at least half a dozen times before they actually, before they realise you're not, you're not going away. So they have to give you an answer. Uh, unfortunately, um, well, the, it's, it's, you know, the way you have to contact them is not easy because you have to go, you can't just reply to the email that they send you. You've got to go back through the contact form you originally filled in and fill in every single fucking little bit again. Which I then do and then have to copy and paste everything I've you know, originally had in the previous emails because when they reply to your email they only have like the latest bit about it. They don't have a whole chain of emails like normal emails do because that would be too fucking easy. Yeah, you know, too fucking straightforward. Anyway, when the reply does come through it's an absolute load of bollocks. Um, but you have the option of going to the BBC Trust after that. Uh, however, they take many, many months to do anything, and then all they ever do is just rubber stamp the original decision. So, there's a lot of people getting paid a lot of money for doing absolutely fuck all. Meanwhile at the hearing, you've got uh, BBC HR Director Lucy Adams telling the committee that the corporation was trying to get people out the door with minimal disruption and no risk of legal action. So it was occasionally necessary to pay more than was contractually required. And then former Trust Chairman Sir Michael Lyons, Sir, Sir, what for? It's like bloody Chris Patton, Lord, what the fuck are they Lords for? Fucking hell, just all bent as fucking twats. Anyway, um, Michael Lyons agreed with, MP, agreed with the MPs that the payments like Wiggy Byford's £1 million, pounds, yeah, I've got a wig, I can see, uh, they look eye-watering. And they added that clearly the trust is damaged by the whole affair and that he never understood that Byford will be receiving a redundancy package beyond that to which he was entitled by his employment contract. To that, old stutter rap himself, Mark Thompson, retorted, well how do you think we got to 950 grand then? Anyway, this led committee member uh, Chris Heaton-Harris to compare the meeting to a fairground game saying it was the most bizarre game of whack-a-mole he'd ever seen. Uh, where you hit one fact down and this throws up other questions. I despair of the lot of them. And it's no surprise that this story quickly disappeared from the front page of the BBC News website. Margaret Hodge and the committee are going to compile a report that figures out whether the BBC Trust are merely incompetent or whether it's just run by a complete and utter bunch of fannies.